Good evening and welcome to News 24. This is Sherwin Wahid with the top news of the day. President, Prime Minister and Parliament Speaker paid tributes to Father of the Nation Bangabundu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman at the grave at Tungipara in Gopalganj. They kept silence for a while. The Premier and the Speaker also attended a rally following laying wreaths. Earlier this morning, Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina laid floral writ at the portrait of Father of the Nation, Bangabundhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, at his Dhanmundi residence in the city. At that time, armed forces paid a state salute, followed by special prayers attended by a number of leaders and activists of Army League. The whole nation is celebrating the birthday of the father of the nation with respect and love. People of different walks of life paid homage to the portrait of Bangabundhu at Dhanmundi 32. Special prayers were organized at the premises of the National Mosque. Special arrangements were made in temples, churches, pagodas taking part in the event. Everyone expressed their determination to work together for the establishment of Bangabundhu's dream to build Shonar Mangla. After paying homage, Prime Minister unveiled portrait of Bangabundhu. On the 102nd birthday, everyone served father of the nation in floral love. She, may, she said that the name of Sheikh Mujibur Rahman should never be erased from the history of Bengal. On the occasion of Bangabundhu's birth anniversary, the special campaign of Corona vaccination started again from today. 3 crore and 25 lakh people will be vaccinated till March 31 under the campaign. People flock to the vaccination center in Savar to get vaccinated. The crowd of people coming to the Bangladesh Institute of Health Center to get vaccinated since morning has created a chaotic situation. Meanwhile, special vaccination program is undergoing in Kushtia. Civil surgeon Dr. Anwar Islam said that about 80% of the people in Kushtia have been vaccinated with the first dose. Due to this, there is not much crowd in the centers. People of the country are losing confidence in BNP due to lack of coordination inside the party. Gaishwar Chandra Roy, the party's standing committee member, said this in a rally demanding that the release of Khalid Azia at the National Press Club. Meanwhile, German ambassador to Dhaka, Akim Trusters, paid a courtesy call on to BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam at the party's chairperson's office in Gulshan. BNP Secretary General Mirza Fokhrul Islam Alamgir's standing committee member, Amir Kashroom, Mahmoud Choudhury and Organizing Secretary Shaima Obayad were present at the meeting. The German ambassador was accomplished by a deputy ambassador. Not taking Napa syrup, the two children of Ashugonj Opuzela of Brahmanbaria district were killed by poisoning by their mother. Two children were killed after feeding them poison mixed sweets. Police arrested Mother Lima in the incident on Thursday afternoon. Police said Ismail Hussain, father of the two slain children, has filed a murder case against wife Lima Begum and her boyfriend Saifullah. According to the previous plan, on March 10, Mother Lima Begum killed two children, Yasin and Morseline, by mixing poison with sweets. Rumors were spread regarding poisonous effect of Napa syrup to divert the cause of death. Jewelry Expo started today for the first time with the initiative of Bangladesh Jewelers Association, Bajus. Imdadul Haq Milon, director of East West Media Group, inaugurated the expo on Thursday. The colorful expo started at the Boshundhara International Convention City in the capital. The fair would be open to the visitors every day from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. The three-day expo would run till March 19. That is all the news for today. Thanks for watching News24. Please stay with us.